Good morning, everybody. I'm Nikki Stanzion. And I'm meteorologist Kristen Van Dyke. And this is New Mexico Style. Welcome to Tuesday. Is it Tuesday? It is <laughs> Tuesday. Tuesday. I didn't want to speak out of turn. <laughs> yes, it is Tuesday, December 4th. Still feeling kind of fally, not winter yet. December 4th. What, We're is that there. 20 days of shopping left? Man, we've got 20 days till Christmas Eve. I cannot believe it. And, you know, it's also that time of year where we start to get really into sports and all the big things going on in mm -hmm. sports. And if you've got Lobo fever, you are so not alone. The Lobo men's basketball team just keep climbing the poles. Oh. It's amazing, right? The AP poll has ranked them at 18, and the coaches poll places them at 20. Right, and the Lobos are just one of five teams that are now 8-0 undefeated. They take on Southern California tomorrow night at the pit, and the game time is, of course, at 8. So that is going to be a huge game. I know, undefeated. I mean, that is so awesome. There's so much pride and team spirit right here at home. Yes. Love that. Love, love, love. And this is another story that has a lot of people talking. Oh, yeah. Yeah, a lot of people have seemed to have gotten Gary Johnson fever. A <laughs> Facebook page has been set up, not by him, but by somebody right. else, to convince our former governor to run for the U.S. Senate in 2014. I, I mean, that's really exciting. And Gary Johnson, of course, you know, gained national attention when he ran for president. I know a lot of people here in New Mexico voted for him, but no word on whether he intends to run for office again. So I guess uh, all we can recommend is that you just keep checking back on that Facebook page or, of course, on our <laughs> website, com to keep you posted on all the uh, the details as we move along. It's we'll exciting. See. It is. We'll see if it convinces him, right? I know. I, I mean, I think it would be so cool to have a president from New Mexico. I mean, how cool would that be? But in the meantime, if he can get far where he is right now. Mm -hmm. Yay for him. That's exciting. It's exciting. And it's also, like I said, very exciting that the weather has been so beautiful, but also on the downside of it, we're missing out on that precipitation we so badly need. Right, and it's going to be another dry week, but there are some signs of some changes oh. moving in for the weekend. I'll talk more about that in a moment, but right now 36 degrees, a little cooler than yesterday morning, but we'll warm quickly into the low 40s as we go through about 9 o'clock, and then highs today, once again, very mild for this time of the year. We'll see a few more clouds around, but highs will approach 60 degrees once again. I know you keep saying it sounds like you're on repeat, but I'm now, now I'm really excited to hear the vote extended forecast because uh, I want to know yeah. when these changes are coming. Looking good. Okay, good to know. 